So the moral of the story for today is I screwed up bad. Like I screwed up probably one of the biggest like mix ups, just screw ups that I've ever done. Um, and, and I'm frustrated. So, so here's what happened. So I was flying to LA this week, um, and that whole thing came about after I was able to set up a podcast interview with Ed Milet. The interview with Ed uh, was scheduled for 2 p.m., and I go to my 11 a.m. podcast. With, I get out of that interview, and what with I think I have, I think I've got 30 minutes to spare. I'm 15 minutes from Ed's house, and I get an email, and it says, "Hey." 1 20 p.m. We had you down for one. Are you still going to be able to make it? And instantly I start to panic. I'm like, um, holy crap. Uh, and, and I distinctly, distinctly remember seeing an email that came through like saying that it needed to be changed to two. It is what it is. Uh, there's really nothing I can do because there's no excuse. Like, like I can say like, Ed, Ed, like, you know, I, I, I had all these other things. It just, there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. And I have to take full ownership and responsibility for that. And you know what? There, there's nothing, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say to make the situation any better. But they were talking about mistakes in that you get to a certain level in your career where you, you become focused on how many mistakes can I possibly make? Yeah. How many st mistakes can I go out uh, and, and experience? Because the reality is they're gonna be there. And so it becomes, it becomes just your natural flow of operation is I'm gonna go out and execute knowing that there will be mistakes, knowing that there will be obstacles, but I'm still gonna go out and do it anyways because I've already recognized that. Yeah. So many people get blocked this mental block of knowing that I can make a mistake, there could be an obstacle, there could be a problem. So I gotta figure all that out on the front end. Yep. There could be an objection, so I gotta figure out the my script answer. on how yeah. to respond to that, and or, or take it a step further, my boss needs to think Has of to a, script a script yeah. on how to overcome this objection that I just created up, I just created that may come up or may not, just yeah. go and do, and if it comes up, figure it out. Yeah. And there's. The people that can just figure it out, those are the people that are just, just, you can't replace them. You cannot replace them. No matter how wrong the thing that you were doing, if you weren't aware of it, you weren't aware of it. Right. But once you are made aware, and that's why sometimes personal development is so uncomfortable. And when we talk about discom embracing discomfort, that's why the growth happens in discomfort is because it's when you're made aware of your, of your shortcomings, yeah. or it's when you're made aware of those things that you are uh, lacking. Or that you may have been believing a lie. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, yeah, but it's becoming, a, it's, it's the light being shed on that that forces that decision. Mm -hmm. That can go one of two ways. And, and I think that's, that, that to me is, is important because there's somebody that's listening to this right now that is honestly mistaken right now. Right like this minute. What they're doing right now, they are honestly mistaken, but they don't know it yet. Bro, you're the because guy. <laughs> <laughs>